Hello, it is I, Rebel Without a Cause, and today I'm going to show you how to modify your Ultrafire WF501B flashlight. The flashlight here utilizes the Cree XML T6 LED technology. What I'm going to do in this video is remove the LED and the circuit board and reinstall a better one. The circuit board I'm going to be installing is the AMC 7135-8-2800 milliamp 5 mode circuit board for the Cree XML. Let us begin. What you want to go ahead and do is to remove the top part of the flashlight. What this will do is take out the top part. Then what we can proceed to do is to screw off the bottom which will reveal all the good stuff. Once you take it out, as you can see, your flashlight look, should look like this. If we take a closer look, what we have to do is to solder this off and solder this off, unscrew the spring and to solder the connections of the LED. Once you have done it, it should look like this. You simply remove the black paper cover there and then you will have two wires on here, the negative and the positive. Once you unsolder that, your, L your LED should look like this. You want to put that to the side and you want to grab your new AMC circuit board. I will put the details on the bottom on where you can get them from. This will be replacing the old circuit board. The reason we are upgrading this is because you can change your modes. Each of these different stars have different modes on them. The way you solder it will give you different modes. I will apply a picture on this video so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, to my knowledge, these different stars represent different modes. So the first one is the default star. If you just solder everything back together, it will give you the default one, which is low setting, mid, high, strobe, and SOS. The second star right here, that represents only low, high, and strobe. The third star here from the left, that is going to give you low, mid, and high. And the fourth star from the left is going to give you low and high. So you can uh, select how you want your uh, flashlight to function by simply defaulting these stars to the, to the outside, uh, connect uh, to the stars to the ground part. Now, what I want in my flashlight is low, high, and strobe because I use my flashlight for a tactical situation. So the way you do that, to my understanding, is you have to disconnect, you have to disconnect the first star with the ground. You simply cut off the gold part and that will cut this off and then you solder whichever ones you what mode you want so since I want low high and strobe mode I am going to connect the second star to the ground let us begin as you can see what I have done is I've soldered the ground part to the second star and I have cut off the connection from the first star. Hopefully this should give me the proper 
connection. Now what I have to do is I have to solder the positive and negative parts from the board to the LED light. I don't know if you can see this, but there is a little plus right there. Let me show you. Let's see if I can zoom this in here for you. Unfortunately, this is the closest I can get, but I believe you can see it now. If you look right there, you see a positive sign and a little piece of metal solder. So your positive is going to connect, wire is going to connect from here to the LED. Your negative is a little bit more difficult to find, but it is on the opposite side, right there. So you want to connect your negative and positive wires there, and then you want to extend them to your LED, the positive and negative. Let us begin. So I went ahead and soldered the, the wires on here, as you can see. And once again, the picture should be there for your reference. And then you want to connect these wires to the LED. Let us begin. I have gone ahead and soldered the wires. What I did is I pulled the wires through the base plate and I installed the chip inside here like this. I placed solder on the sides to connect the negative side and I since the since the spring was a little too short for me I put solder right here and I took the old spring off and I put it on top as you can see let me show you like that so as you can see there are areas on the side here that I've soldered to the board chip the circuit board I soldered that side and then I put the spring on top of the other solder uh, the other spring I put the wires through the base split which is this thing here I pull, pulled the wires out and then I easily soldered them onto the LED as I showed you before. Now let's see how this operates. Since this is all metal, when you connect this, this will make contact and it will be very bad. So you have to make sure you cover the top part of the LED. You can use tape, you can use you know, you can use anything to cover it. Because when it makes contact with the bottom, it does not work. This was driving me insane when I was putting it together. Because I did not know why it was happening. But since you have Rebel Without a Cause on your side, of course, I will tell you exactly what the problem is. Let's hope this works. As you can see, as I explained before, I only have three modes now. High, strobe, and low. High, strobe, and low. So, this was your tutorial today on how to modify your UltraFire flashlight. I will also do another video, if I haven't put it up already, comparing different batteries. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Please like, comment and subscribe and visit our Facebook page, search South Bay Mercenaries for upcoming games and updates. Thank you.